This program stems from a program called NISH. And NISH is a program for higher education and training invented in the Netherlands by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and it is funding initiatives from southern partners like Bukalasa College. It stems from the idea that with some help we can create a new learning climate and all of the people, not only in Bukalasa but also in the region and in the country, benefit from these new styles of learning. The college is uh, known mostly for training students in agriculture related activities and programs. We have quite a number of programs ranging from food processing, animal husbandry, crop production, horticulture and agribusiness. So here at Bukalasa College we execute a program called CBET and Entrepreneurial Competencies. It's on behalf of the Dutch government and of NUFIC that SINOP is executing the program together with the staff of Bukalasa College. We have been involved with the SINOP program, which is a training in a competent-based education. And I am quite impressed with the way it has been able to transform our teachers. I'm really happy that they are combining the technical training as well as the entrepreneurship in their training. And I think that is what has been lacking in most of our training activities. So if we transfer the same to the products that we have, I know that even our students are going to benefit from this training. It was uh, quite challenging to design the right learning path because all the uh, lecturers have their own practice, their own history, their own way of how to lecture a class. So in order to have the whole program aligned to the practice here, we did some intakes and we designed the program together with the register and together with our learning students, which in a way are not students but are lecturers. So lecturers were learning, you can call it also a training for trainer program, and they were able to design their own needs in order to learn and to make progress. We measured that progress every time and at the end of the day we checked whether or not the program was aligned and on regular presentations as well as on a digital platform the students had to show their progress. The managers were uh, there positioned to follow their lecturers during the time that we were not executing the programming class. So it shows that as well as in the uh, behavioral change of the lecturers, as in the curricula, the change has been made. Through this training, when we started, uh, of course, we were teaching according to our uh, lecture approach. So our instructor, uh, Mr. Johannes, was able now to reorientate our, our thinking and approach. So one of the things we gathered was to get her uh, to work out training methods that you don't have to use one method. Even in the process of instruction, one would even move out of the lecture room, go to a training unit, have a demonstration, a practical discuss, then come back to the lecture room. So you cease to sit in one place and conduct the whole lecture in one place. So the idea is that now this time you are free to move out and in of a lecture room and also as much as possible ensure that the learners have a lot of discussions, they have a lot of demonstrations hands-on and through this approach, we have realized that uh, our training has actually been uh, greatly enhanced and improved. We feel that there are many changes that have happened, there are many lessons that we have learned. Uh, we are doing many practicals and the training is now more, there, is, there are more of the practicals than uh, of, the, of the theory. And uh, the curriculum is now uh, maybe 40% is theory and 60% of the training is what is, is, is practicals. And practicals, we know that students learn better and the students themselves have also confessed that this method of training is, is better for them. When you looked at our curriculum previously, it was more of knowledge-based, but now we have reviewed and making it more skill-based because the type of learners that we train are supposed to have hands-on. So that is one of the things that we have benefited from this training. Now, through this training, we came up with the three core courses that now we have 
team projects who are actually on the lead. We have agro-processing and value chain. We have incubation and then we have animal clinic. I'm here to represent a project that is the animal clinic which is being introduced after the training in a Shibet here in the Palasa. Uh, we have the competent staff who can manage this project. We have trained field trained uh, surgeons, veterinary surgeons, and we have around four clinicians plus two assistant clinicians. We also have nutritionists and people who can add value to all the animal products. We can also help um, the, 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 can also help the farmers to improve on their farms and also manage all healthy needs on their animals. We are soon opening up the doors to the community. And this department here is responsible for value addition and agro-processing. In the Sibet, we have learned that we need to make the training more learner-centered. So we send these students out to, under the program called Outreach and then we group them in small groups and we allocate them homes and they are supposed to perform certain key activities in relation to, to nutrition and post-harvest handling, agronomy and production and then periodically we go out to assess what they have done in the community. So that makes it more learner-centered and every day Every week we have one day designed for that activity. However, when it comes to value addition, we have made some challenges because value addition comes with some overhead costs. The lessons again we have learned from CBET and entrepreneurship, Entrecom, because this is agribusiness where students have to start up their own enterprises. It taught us about practical challenges in the business world. So one thing we have actually adapted and have started even right away is giving these students and exposing them to practical challenges. They have been able to draw their business canvases and they have been able to start up their own enterprises. And we believe that there is going to be a very tremendous change at the end of all these lessons applied. I want to thank Sibet so much and Entrecomp, Nafik and Sinop for all the work they have done. So, uh, our outcry for this project is that we hope and we pray that Nafik still gives a hand on. Uh, if they give hands on, then it will better the practicability of learning within this college. Um, previously, we used to do a lot of theory work in class, but now we are doing more of practical skills. Uh, our lecturers have taught us how to cook things practically, making cakes, making juice, making cookies, making daddies. Uh, we ended up opening a canteen at our department where the students are allowed to make those products and sell them to the other students. Uh, this has built lots of confidence in the students that they can be able to do something on their own, brand their, their goods, and um, they're able to sustain themselves in school. They can top up their tuition, uh, buy handouts using that money, stop calling home. I am very grateful to Sinop, I'm very grateful to the Netherlands Embassy, Nofik, for whatever they have done to ensure that this project becomes a reality. <laughs>